All right, everybody, how's it going? This is Vectone, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to configure the Novation Launchpad with FL Studio. And for those of you who don't know, the Launchpad is actually meant for Ableton Live, but I'm going to be showing y'all that it is very usable in FL Studio. So let's just open up FL Studio here, and we just have our blank FL pad open and let's make sure you have your launch pad plugged into the USB port and the first thing we're going to do is go to our MIDI settings. Now there's two different types of setting that we can use our launch pad for. So the first one is we can use it to program controllable lights and controllable patterns uh, based on the user's programming and that basically you just pick what colors and when you want the lights to go off and where and then that's how people make uh, like light shows online and to do that we're gonna have the output on port 114 so move it down one because it's normally on 115 and for the input first of all make sure you have it enabled and set to the launch pad and then make sure it's on port 115 it's usually already there so you don't have to do anything and that's it for the MIDI settings. Now to program controllable lights, we're going to need to use the plugin MIDI Out. And this is what allows the lights to be uh, controlled, basically, with their color and their position and how long they display. And so to do that, uh, we're going to need to change this port here also to 114. So bring it all the way up to 114 and uh, that's it so exit out of there and now we can treat the MIDI out as basically its instrument so let's say I have uh, a kick and I have four kicks playing and I'm just gonna play that alright if I want lights to play on each of these four kick hits we're gonna go to the MIDI out and we're gonna use a piano roll to do this so the piano roll is just a vertical representation of the grid on your launch pad. So when you press any of the keys on the piano roll, you should see the lights on your launch pad light up. And each key corresponds with a different pad on your launch pad. So a, each button will have a different spot on this entire uh, chromatic keyboard. So I can put each uh, note in four spots just as the kicks and I have C playing four times and now when I press play I'm gonna get four notes and four lights playing for a duration and then the duration is how long you drag this note so if I want the light to hold I just make the note longer and the velocity of the note which you can edit by just dragging the pencil up and down down here or you can double click the note and just drag your velocity up. That'll make the color of your launch pad change to uh, whatever colors you have depending on the version of the launch pad you have. But mine has green, red, yellow, and like orange. So those are all the different lights and you can do different shades of those and different hues or whatever. And so that's basically how you program lights. And so and then basically it's a matter of you know how skilled you are at making the lights and it's a really honestly not a matter of skill it's just a matter of time it's just really tedious to get the lights to do exactly what you want also I do have a grid here that tells you so this is basically the launch pad and these are all the notes on the chromatic keyboard and they each tell you a different like it's just basically a layout so the C0 on my keyboard is going to be the top left square on my launch pad and so this is pretty helpful when you're first starting out, but uh, to, in my opinion, when you're programming the launch pad, it's better to just look at it while you're dragging your key and just look at your launch pad and see what light is showing up when you press it. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is program it to become a basically generic MIDI controller. So to do that, all we have to do is switch the port up, 115 and 115. Uh, we don't need MIDI out anymore. It doesn't matter if you have it or not, but we don't need it. And so now, if you press the overview button on your launch pad, and that's going to be uh, 
for uh, FL Studio, that Launchpad comes with decals that are specifically designed for FL Studio. If you didn't put them on or just don't have them, uh, on the very top row, it's going to be the fifth circle. So when you press it, you should see a little red light at the top left of the squares, and then the, all the green circles on the vertical row should light up. And each of these circles, when you press them, correspond to a different controller. So the first one would, is a general settings uh, controller for FL Studio. The second one is a keyboard. The third one is going to be just uh, basically another chromatic keyboard. Uh, we have a drum pad for the next one. Uh, two different mixers, uh, and then we have a controller for gross beat and a controller for slice X. And I can show you guys what that looks like in another video, but I'm just showing you guys how to program it to actually get it to respond when you press it, because it can be a little overwhelming when you first get it. But just to show you guys one example, I'll just load in a plugin. Uh, let's say I just use the oscillator. And when I press buttons on my launch pad and I have the keyboard selected, I'm going to have keys play. And it's this chromatic order. So, uh, you know, you can use that as like live playing. Although the my launch pad doesn't have velocity sensitive keys, but either way, it, it works. So uh, that's pretty much it for programming the launch pad. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. And there's more to come.